Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at some of the features you can find on the References tab. So I've got a document on the screen which has got some heading styles in it, and I'll just go to the View tab and put on the navigation pane so you can see those. So those are great. They allow you to navigate through a document very quickly and move things up and down. But they're also quite cool for creating a table of contents, which is the first thing that I want to do on the References tab. So References, Table of Contents is the first option. If I drop that down, you've got some different layout options here. I'm just going to go for the first one. And it generates a table of contents, which gives you a hyperlink, if I hold my control key down, to that particular heading. As does this. Now, because these are heading styles, this gives me this functionality. Without heading styles, I wouldn't be able to do this. So to create a heading styles, it's basically type the thing, highlight it on the home tab, choose a heading style. And if you don't like the font and format, you just right click on it and modify it to one that you like. But once you've done that, you must base it actually on one of the heading, the preset heading styles, otherwise it won't pick up. The, the relevant bits and bobs. Once you've done that, you can quickly create a table of contents. So that's the first thing on the references tab I want to talk about. Now, if, if things change in this table of contents, you see you've got update table there. So for example, program at the moment is on page one, but if I get myself there and do control enter, which is a hard page break, program is now on page two. This still says page one. So I've got this option, or I can do it up here, up date table and I only need to do the page numbers because I didn't add a title to change any of the structure of this so I'm just going to click OK to that and you can see that's now changed to 2 which is correct so once you've done it it's quite simple to keep it updated now the second thing I want to talk about is doing an index so I'm going to the first paragraph I'm just getting myself there cursors there now, you have to do this slightly different because you need to mark the entries that you want to appear in your index. So I'm just going to click on Mark Entry. And what happens is this box floats on the screen. So you can click on the document and then the box, whichever one you click on. So I've just actually clicked on that office. I'll just mark that. As soon as I click Mark, Show Hide will appear and you'll see the little code there for the entry. And it's a case of then just going through it uh, and then mark, I'll mark all for that one because it comes up quite a few times. Office comes up quite a few times, mark all. Then I'll just come down through the document and just mark a few of these on different pages so everything is not on the same page all the way down through this. Just picking some general random things. I'm not really paying any attention, but in real life you must. I've already done Office, so I'll just do mark Microsoft and then I better do a few more than that training mark all and program mark all and then I'll just close that for now and then I'll get my cursor at the end you can knock the show hide off at this stage so I'll knock that off give myself a title index now I want that to appear in the heading so I'm going for heading two which the rest of them are already set at you see it appear there now so when I click underneath that, back to references, I can now insert that index. And again, you get different layouts from template. All these are different styles. You get a little preview in this little box there. The one I tend to go for is formal for no other reason than I like it. Clicking OK to that and it will drop that index in there. And you can see what I did. Um, mark all. It's given me lots of different page references because there was multiple occurrences of these words. So that's how you create an index. And the same thing applies with this. If any of these pages changes, change, you just go update index and it will renumber the index. So that's the table of content, content and the index references. The other one I want to look at is this um, insert citation and then creating a bibliography and then insert a table of authorities having marked citations and then the last thing I'll look at is insert table of figures and you can see how that works so if I just get myself back to the top of this document so let's go for inserting or creating a 
citation. So I'll get my cursor there, I think. Let's just put it there. And then I'm just going to insert, I've already got one for Microsoft, but I'll just add a new source. So you basically need to add a source. And what you can put in there is whatever you want to put in there, really, the reference. So I'll, I'll title this Visio um, Book Author Microsoft. Spell that right. Um, book title Visio for Beginners. And you just fill this in. I'm not going to fill the rest of it in. I'll click OK to that. Tag name is not unique. OK. Tag name, so I'll just call it... Um, S A X that bit, and then I can just click OK to that, and then it drops it in there for me. Microsoft.com. I changed that as well. Now, if I want to go back and look at that, I can go into citations. You've got Microsoft.com, and then you go add new, and then you've got manage source. So if I go manage source, Microsoft.com, that is the one, and I can edit it. So I just put a dot com at the top there, and I changed that tag name because I'd already got one called Microsoft and just picked up the same tag. But that's how you create a citation and then it's inserted in the document there. Now, that can be then produced at the end if I just do another one. So if I just go there and then create a new one, I'll call this, um, so let's say this is um, a report. Author is going to be Saxton. Title is going to be Visio or not, and let's say 2023. That'll do. So it's going to put my name in there. The reference is Sax23, so it's different to the other one that I've already done. So I'll click OK and it's put that in there. Now, if I get myself to the end of the document, so I'm just getting myself to the end, control end on the keyboard. I can then insert the bibliograph bibliography. I'll just come down a bit. And then you've got this option here, built-in options. So I'll go for the top one. And it just drops those things in there for me. So that's the bibliography. Now, the other thing I want to do is a insert a table of figures. So what I need is some tables. So I'll just make myself some tables. So I'll insert a table. That'll do, just a simple little table. So it's got table one as a title, and then I'll insert a table there. Insert table two, and uh, just one more. Insert table three. So there's three tables, and I can then insert a table of figures. And when I click on that, you've got these different options and the caption is table, but you've got obviously these as well. So I want to put a couple of these in. So let's get a photograph. So I'll insert pictures, um, stock images. I'll just use a stock image. Um, that can do, that one. It's going to be a massive picture, no doubt. And then I'll just resize that to make it quite small. Now this hasn't got a caption on it, so what I need to do is insert caption. So I'm going back to references and you've got insert caption and this one needs to say picture. Picture one, it's going to say above selected item, OK. So there it goes. So then if I do another picture like that, just come down a bit, insert picture, just do it from stock images again. Pick some random, that was a ball of wool, go for this one, insert some trees, just resize the image. Now, I didn't, just go back to references, um, insert caption, picture two, uh, you've got okay to that, and then I've got, I've got the auto caption here, which I haven't ticked on, but I could have had that ticked on for tables, it is on for tables. Um, it's not on for this, so let's have a look. Bitmap images, probably not going to have a bitmap. It's probably going to be 
uh, ping this is going to be, I would imagine. So maybe I'm going to have to do this manually. Um, it's not an option in this list that I can see. Package. Okay, I'll just cancel that. I'm not going to do that. I'll do it manually. So insert capture. And it's going to be figure two. Okay, that'll do. So now I've got tables, pictures, and then when I go into insert table of authorities, you've got different options in there. Picture, figure, all that. I'm just doing picture and table. So now I need to get myself to the end of the document. So control end. Now insert table of, of figures. First of all, I want picture. Okay. Those are the two pictures and the reference to them. And then do it again, but change it to table. Table. Okay. Those are the three tables. So the last thing I want to do is mark citation, similar to mark index, and then insert a table of authorities. So if I go back into the document, I'll just do a couple of these. I'll just get into that there. And then you go mark citation, and you've got different options here, cases, statutes, all that sort of stuff. So I'll leave it on cases. And then same sort of thing. If I can double click on it, just go to next. Okay, so I need to mark that and mark that one. And courseware. Courseware. Proficient, I'll mark that. Mark courseware. Um, I didn't mark courseware. Just go for corporations. Just go mark that. Those are the three things you're marking. Then if I go to um, next citation, and then you can change this to other authorities, and then you can double click and mark it again. So it looks like you can't mark this because it's grayed out, but it's just there's courseware. So I can mark that. And then next citation, I'll just go to rules just to do one more specialized mark. Close that, come down to the bottom. Get rid of show hide again. Back to references. Insert table of authorities. All, because I want all of them. And then OK. And it should categorize them into the three things that I did. Cases, other authorities and rules. So there you go. That's all the references that I want to talk about in this little session. So first of all, if I get myself back to the top. And I'm scrolling up instead of doing control home. There's a table of contents which is looking at these heading styles and if I click on the bibliography that'll get me back to this the index is looking at marked entries which you can only see when you've got show hide active which is that is Go back to reference I went into the bibliography manage sources so I created a couple of sources and then inserted those you get reference to them in your document. Again, you can only see them with show hide on. And then I marked citations, created a table of authorities. And in between that, I did a inserted captions for pictures and tables. So you could have a reference to those as well. So all these are fairly simple to do. Some of them you have to mark beforehand. Others you have to put a caption on. The table of contents, I will do control home instead of scrolling up. You just have to have heading styles let's get that show hide off because it doesn't look nice so that's all i want to talk about in this little video hopefully it's of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one